Well, hey friends, welcome back to my channel for another video today. I am actually really excited about this video and sharing this with you guys. Over the past, I would say, I don't know, two weeks, I have been kind of, you know, throwing in here and there that I have been really working on changing our entire system on how we store food, how I plan for things, how I buy food, pretty much everything. Um, I decided again, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago when I first, this idea like first popped into my head, I decided that I wanted to do some more stocking up like in the beginning of the month and having it organized and a place to store everything and a system to look back on like in a notebook where I can you know track everything that we have track everything weekly refill things weekly like a whole system right because prior to this I had no system at all so I'm actually very excited to say that I now have a complete system going in both our pantry and our freezers and I am going to be sharing all of that with you guys today let's go okay so you guys have seen this handy dandy notebook a lot over the past couple of weeks this has been like my life lately organizing this kind of getting it all worked out to how i really want it and i am going to first show you guys what this notebook is what kind of sections i have in this notebook and all of that before we jump into the pantry um, we now have like a little bit of an outdoor pantry, the freezers, all that stuff. Um, so I can show you kind of what we've done and what we're doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the notebook first to get a feel, you know, so you guys can kind of understand where I'm going with all of this. Okay. So I did show this in my grocery haul last week, but essentially what I did is I went through and made a master freezer list where I wrote down sort of what we're eating every month, what I need to be sure to have on hand every month so that I can do a bigger stock up at the beginning of the month, like at Sam's club. If you saw my Sam's club haul on Friday, I actually just did a big stock up. Um, so, you know, kind of how many chicken meals we're eating, how many ground beef meals we're eating sort of categorizing everything so that I know things that we eat all the time. And I'm not just guessing. I do a lot of guessing people. So I have one for the freezer. And then I also have one for the pantry, things like snacks that we eat that I know we eat all the time. I have an other category of like onion soup mix, ranch package, chocolate chips and granola, things that I eat on a daily basis. And then of course the typical rice, noodles, pancake mix, oatmeal, whatever. This basically serves to remind me, both the freezer and the pantry list serve to remind me what I need to review every month. So it gives me something to turn back to, to look at. And yes, I have paint on my hand. <laughs> Bryson and I were actually cleaning the garage today and I spilled some paint. But anyway, um, it gives me a list to look back to so that I can grow or make my Sam's Cup list every month from the master lists. And then the last little like start of this that I did a couple of weeks ago was make a master meal list, meals that I know that we eat all the time, meals that I know my family will eat so that I can build my meal plans around, over or through this master meal list, maybe adding in one or two that I see a, a recipe for or whatever, but mostly from here. And I have added a few more in pen that you can see there. Just as I'm remembering them, I'm going back and adding them. So this has been very helpful in meal planning over the past few weeks for sure. And then this is kind of where we're at now. So over, or I guess it was right before I went to Sam's Club, I went through and looked in my pantry and wrote down everything that we had in the beginning of May. And I'm going to show you how we stored all of course, but I literally went through and wrote down everything that we had then I went through and wrote down everything that we had in our pantry overflow. And then I did the same thing for the freezers. It says deep freezer, but this is actually both freezers. So how much chicken we have on hand, how much ground beef, how much turkey, all of our meats, all of our like vegetables, green beans, corn, whatever, all of our convenience meals. And then all of our, well, these are more convenience. Like these are um, meals from Sam's Club that you just pop in the oven. Um, so like pretty much everything that we have in our freezers, I wrote down then. Okay. So that was actually what that was. Then after I did all of that, I created grocery lists for this week of my meal. I wrote down my meal plan, made a list of stuff that we need for the meal plan. But then I also, and you guys have actually already seen this haul, but, um, if you didn't watch it, then it's Monday's past video, but this was what this was for. 
Um, but then I also made an Aldi list. So I did need from Aldi for May. And that was basically just stuff that I wanted to buy in bulk to get us through this month. And then I did the same thing, an Aldi list for this week, like stuff that I just needed for these meals. And then I did a food line list of things that I could not get at Aldi or we don't like from Aldi stuff like that. So this is kind of how my grocery list was this week. So with all that being said, let's go ahead. I think we're going to start in the pantry. So like I said, this was what my pantry had in it at the beginning of May. And this was the indoor pantry here, every, you know, my normal pantry. So this is where we are going to be starting. So You've had a look at what's in there. Let me show you how I am storing it all. Um, most of you have seen my pantry um, makeover video, but we completely redid our pantry and sort of redid how we're storing things. We've labeled things, whatever. So the floor is still drinks for now. Um, I mean, they're always going to be there, but I'm trying to find somebody suggested getting like stackable crates and putting the drinks in there, which I think would be a really good idea because we could take them all out of the packaging. So I'm working on that, that might be coming soon, but we have seltzer waters. I have two whole packs down there. Bryson has Sprite, Chris has some uh, like protein waters and stuff like that, juice boxes for the kids. We keep all of our drinks down there and there's trash bags randomly right there as well. And then this is actually dog food. So we have been using the moist and meaty packs. That's a lot of packs. Um, as I mentioned in my Sam's Club haul. And so they are stored in there. And Bryson just grabs, when he feeds the dogs, he just grabs the amount that we need. Now, we're gonna start on this side over here. So this bottom shelf is snacks for the kids. Um, so these are the snacks that I would say they eat the most often. So in here, we have these freeze dried strawberries. We have these little packs of Gardettos that we got at Sam's Club. There are some bags of Cheez-Its. We also got these at Sam's Club. And then finally in this one, there are some fruit snacks, which my kids love. So that is that container. And then this container is chips. So we have a row that is like all Doritos, a row that is Cheetos. We have some of these pretzel crisps, the Buffalo and the original. And then there are a couple things of red Pringles back there. Finley takes those to preschool for snack. And then I have one lone Belvita. Kylie's eaten all the rest of them. So I stuck that up front there so that she would eat that um, this week. So that's that shelf. It's eye level for the kids, especially for Finley. She can come in here and nine times out of 10, she's taking strawberries. So that's why I put them front and center to hopefully give her a good choice. This next shelf is all breakfast items. So this one is pop tarts. And then there are some, well, there's actually, it's labeled pop tarts, but we have pop tarts, some donuts, and then there are some granola Bites. These are from um, Trader Joe's in there as well that my kids like. And then this one is, says muffins again, but there are Entenmann's muffins in here. And then a whole bunch of these chewy dipped bars. Bryson will eat two or three of these every day when he comes home from school. So I bought three boxes of them to stock up and we have a ton back there and he's actually already eaten several of them. And then we have like various cereal type of things, granola that I use on my yogurt, oatmeal back there, of course. We use that a lot in um, smoothies. And then um, a couple different types of cereal for the kids. These Fruit Loops, Kylie really likes, and Finley. And then Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the boys both like. So that is our sort of breakfast shelf. Again, not too high so the kids can see it. The next shelf up healthy snacks. So these are like Z bars, things that I like Kylie, a lot of the time will eat a Z bar when she gets home from soccer practice. If she's a little bit hungry and I don't want her to have like crap, she'll eat a Z bar. Um, Finley will eat one after soccer practice. So that's mostly what that is for. We have crackers, which namely that is just going to be goldfish. There just wasn't a goldfish label. So crackers, this container was holding pretzel thins and there's still a few crumbs in there, but we bought the value pack at Sam's club. So right now it's just kind of sitting here. I, I don't know. I should have bought some pretzels just so it just wasn't sitting empty. Um, maybe I will at some point over the next couple of weeks, just buy regular pretzels to put in here. And then in here, we have all of our various bags of chips. Storing them in this container just makes it neater. So I know that there are tortilla chips in there. There's some regular potato chips in there. 
Uh, let's see what else. Those are salt and vinegar, and I think that's it. Oh, and there is some popcorn right there as well. So just, you know, it's a nice, easy way to store all of the um, various open bags of chips and it, it looks neater, you know. And then finally on the top shelf, way up here, which I can't get up there, this is dog treats. That's candy. I have it up high again, so my kids can't get it all the time. And then this one is sort of overflow. I'll bring it down here of some snacky items that I need to pull from. Ugh. So we have a bunch of granola bars in here, more fruit snacks for filling the fruit snack thing. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty much just granola bars and fruit snacks. Um, so every week when I go through and refill the snack containers down there, which I actually just did, I will go through and add like more fruit snack packs, more granola bars back there and the granola bar thing, you know, just until we use all of that up. Let's see if I can get that back up there. And then over here, this one, this side of the pantry, I mean, has a lot less stuff, but this is more just, you know, pantry, real pantry stuff. Um, so over here we have sugar. These are some pomegranate chocolates. We actually were using these for potty training Finley, um, but she is actually 100% potty trained now. She is in um, underwear all of the time, except for at nighttime. So we are not doing potty chocolate anymore. So that's just kind of what's left over from that. But we also have some sugar, light brown sugar, and then chocolate chips there, which I use those in my yogurt as well. And we use them in pancakes and all that stuff. This one here is energy. So Chris will take these in the morning, these vitamin energy shots. And I take some too, if I'm feeling like a, a cold or something coming on, cause it's got a ton of vitamin C in it. Um, I can't remember where we got these it might've been GNC, but we take those. And then this is my, um, motivate pre-workout that I take when I run that doesn't happen much lately. And then this one is a drink packet container. So we have all of our liquid IV in there. Side note, pushing this. We I still have a 25% off discount code. It's always active for you guys. I know a lot of you use it monthly because um, I see who uses it or I see like that people use it. So um, definitely if you, this is a good time of year to be buying liquid IV and this flavor, the new sea berry one is delicious. So give that a go. But anyway, we have all of our liquid IVs in there and then me and Kylie really like the raspberry lemonade drink Mac packets. This shelf, this says condiments, but again, I just didn't have all the labels, right? So I bought two things of marinara sauce for the month. I bought some Parmesan cheese. And then this is that uh, yellow rice that I get from Sam's Club. And then this one is various baking supplies. So sprinkles, cookie dough, all types. You know, there's sunflower seeds in there, beef boiling cubes, all types of just random things. And then I have a little bit of angel hair back there that couldn't fit in my spaghetti container. So I, I tucked it back there so it wouldn't be as visible. The next shelf, this is miscellaneous stuff. So pancake syrup, oils, cooking sprays, there's lemon juice back there, that type of stuff. This one is all canned goods that we actually have plans for. And then I have more canned goods out there. Um, but you know, like the mandarin oranges my kids will eat, this corn we use in various casseroles and stuff black beans. There's a can of Rotel back there. Stuff like that, that we, that I know we have a plan for is in here. And then these are all of our like pastas and rice. So we have macaroni. There's a whole thing of angel hair. And then we have some rice for the month as well, or for more than a month, but that is kind of how I am keeping track of it. And then up top here, I have stuff that we don't use as often or stuff that I, well, except for my vital proteins or stuff that I don't want the kids to get a hold of. So namely these peanut butter crackers. If you follow me, then you know that everybody in my family, except for Bryson cannot, or except for Chris cannot have peanut butter. So I keep those up there so that Finley doesn't get a hold of them or whatever. Um, we only know for sure that I'm allergic and Bryson is allergic, but we don't give the girls it either. So Chris takes these to work and eats them when he's not around us. So he keeps, we keep them up there so that, you know, nobody gets a hold of them. We have our extra coffee for the month, some popcorn kernels for when we make it on the stove, um, pancake mix. And then I do have my bottle proteins back there and extra crackers that we, uh, I'll dump those in the goldfish container after the goldfish are gone. Um, I probably should put those in the extra storage area. I just haven't done that yet. So this is what our indoor pantry um, you know, is looking like now, let me take you outside and show you kind of what we have out there and tell you how I'm working that out. Let's go outside. 
So Bryson and I actually took some time this weekend to completely, there's Kylie, to completely organize um, all of our decor and all that stuff. So everything is labeled and in proper things. And it really just freed up this whole area. We still have a trash bag there that we need to get out. But, you know, we have our coolers over here and it really just freed up this whole space. And we redid this whole shelf so that I could put pantry overflow out here. So out here we have the rest of the chips we also have two things of muffins so when the muffin thing gets low i refill the muffins we also have overflow of ketchup there's two of them here another chocolate syrup and then there is a one other bag of cinnamon toast crunch in here i do want to say that nothing out here is open so the you know if that thing of cinnamon toast crunch the bag in there is sealed i don't want to put anything out here that is has any way for like bugs or whatever to get into it. So nothing is open out here. Everything is sealed. Um, we have overflow of crackers, another thing of Bryson's pop tarts, another pack of the freeze dried strawberries, and then some more various canned goods. I believe these are black beans, red kidney beans, and a can of green beans just, you know, to have on hand, um, for when I need them for things. Energy. <laughs> I, I've, mentioned lately that I've been loving these things. So I have an extra four pack. I actually need to take these in and put them in the fridge. I used my last one like just a little bit ago. So these will be going inside. And then we have the donuts, the Cheez-Its, the Gardettos, and the pretzels. So what I'm doing basically every week when I um, am making my grocery list, I'm coming out here first and going through here and reloading everything into its proper place before I build a grocery list. That way we use this stuff and I'm not buying stuff we don't need by not shopping my own pantry first. In theory, I have bought enough snacks to get them through the entire month of May with all the various like Gardettos and pretzels and Cheez-Its and Doritos. They should be good for the remainder of May. So that is what the goal is. We're trying this out. If I don't buy enough or I buy too much of something, then we won't repurchase it or I'll buy more of it or whatever we need to do. May is definitely a trial period, but I love how I have this set up and how easily accessible it is. So that is the entire sort of pantry system right now. Let's look at the freezer. I mentioned that I wrote down sort of everything that we have, and this includes all the stuff that I bought at Sam's Club. Um, and most of this, I will say, is in the deep freezer, which I am going to show you, of course. Um, but it would def it definitely is a little bit easier for me to just show you kind of here what's going on. Um, so we um, have enough stuff, or we should, for, you know, chicken, we have six meals, ground beef, we have three meals, turkey, two meals, so that's six, nine, 11, three meals of steaks, three meals of hamburgers, three meals of pork chops. So in theory, we have enough meat for the entire month of May. Um, and then we also have, you know, the green beans, the pea. We have two bags of peas that I bought at Food Line, which I will show you. And then we have various other, you know, things like this chicken Alfredo is a whole meal. The chicken enchiladas is a whole meal. Um, and then we also have the garlic chicken, the Italian chicken. In addition to the chicken that I speak of here, you also have to remember that we have the Italian chicken for a meal, the garlic chicken for probably two or three meals, stuff like that. So we are really set on meat for sure. And most of our vegetables, I would say as well, I will buy like fresh green beans throughout um, the month and all of that stuff. But, and then we also have, Oh, okay. So these are our meals that I planned for this week. So as I plan meals for the week, I'm actually going to go and tick off what I use. So if I use like this week, I'm using pork chops. I will go back and put a little tick mark right here to signify that I am using a thing of pork chops. And then when this item is completely gone, I will mark it off so that I know next month I need to replenish that. So that's kind of how my system is going to go. I haven't done any ticking yet for this week, uh, but I need to tick, you know, the chicken enchiladas off, the a thing of pork chops off, a thing of hot dogs off, that sort of thing. So that is something I will be doing probably when I end this video. So now that you've seen that, let's go ahead and look in the actual freezer. So our indoor freezer is a lot more of just like convenience stuff. So like mac and cheese meals for Kylie. I'm hoping these will last her the month. If not, I am still going to go to Food Lion weekly. This is not like my month stock won't buy any more food. It's essentially just like I bought all the stuff that I know that we'll eat in bulk so that hopefully I spend less throughout the month. 
in, in theory, I should save money. Um, I've bought like two bags of French fries, two things of peas. And these are the big, like 32 ounce bags of peas. Uh, we have some chicken nuggets down here. All of our ground beef is down there. And then we do have like various, like I bought a thing of hamburger buns to go with the hamburgers. We have some more marble cinnamon bread for Chris, that sort of thing. And then um, zucchini noodles for spaghetti. So indoors is really just all of the like extra stuff. It's not really any of the meat or anything like that. However, let's go look outside. Actually, I will just give you a, a little overview of the fridge as well. Um, we have completely organized this as well. We are hopefully very soon getting a refrigerator for outside so that I will be able to stock up on things like my coffee creamer when I find the Food Lion brand one that I like or on the A2 milk when it's on sale. I paid $4.99 this week but I don't have any room to store more than two of them. Um, actually, do I even have another one? I thought I had another one. Oh yeah, it's back there. Um, so I need to, we need to get something out there so that I'm able to buy stuff like that in bulk when it is available. But we have these little containers in here for the kids again, to be able to grab quick snacks after school. We have cheese sticks, yogurt. These are various, well, there's two. There's these ones and then those are just go-gurt sticks. And then this whole thing is lunchables more yogurt so in theory they can grab anything from here after school and anything from here after school which is all strawberries these are the farm fresh ones that finley and i picked and then we have blueberries and grapes this will probably only last us a week we will need more fruit next week but um we do have we did stock up on things like cheese so we have uh block cheese several things of shredded cheese we bought two things of turkey sticks we have some John Soul's chicken, you know, we stocked up on this stuff. Cause again, this is something that my kids like this block cheese. I bought this Thursday and it's like over halfway gone. So, um, you know, maybe I should have bought two of those, but again, we need another fridge that I'm able to store it. And then we are having to kind of put some overflow down here. So we have bacon and cinnamon rolls with all of our vegetables down there. And then the bottom one is always juice boxes. But again, if I get drinks outside, then I can utilize that for something else indoors. So that's the refrigerator. I just was going to briefly touch on that. Let's go ahead and go out to the deep freezer. And we left the door open, so no big issue here. I'm so happy with the garage being clean. This is all trash that needs to go out um, Wednesday when the trash comes. But anyway, okay, so it is packed full. I'm not going to go through. Um, I'm just kind of giving you guys like a little idea of what this looks like. There's an extra thing of bacon in here. There's a big thing of rolls. We do have these um, chicken tender breast loins that I got at Sam's Club. I went ahead and bought 40 rolls because I know Chris likes those. And then under our, this stuff is pretty much all of the meat. Um, so this is like our convenience chicken enchiladas and um, chicken Alfredo meals that we buy from Sam's that we love, love, love. And then we have like meat and all that under there. So pretty much everything that you saw on the list is out here. So um, because this is a deep freezer and I can't like store it, you know, so that I can see it all, all the time. The list is coming in really helpful so that I'm able to know what I still have in here. And that is why like ticking things off is going to be so important to really make this system work so that I don't have to dig through the freezer every single week or every single month or whatever to be able to know what we have if I keep up with that list. So hopefully I'm able to do that. So that is how stuffed our deep freezer looks at the beginning of this month. And maybe in a couple of weeks um, in a grocery haul, I can show you guys like what it looks like updated. I think that would be cool to kind of show you throughout the week or throughout the month, how my stock is dwindling and how much we're really eating. So that's a plan that I have for the month as well, especially on these snacks. Cause I know a lot of people would probably be curious to know how much of this we are actually going to get through. If I had, oh, Finley's hitting stuff. If I had to guess, I would say that we will eat every single thing this month except for the Cheez-Its. This is the thing that I'm pre-guessing that is still going to be left at the end of the month. I think everything else will be gone. That's just my opinion. We'll get there, uh, but that's how I'm feeling about it. Okay, let's go back inside. So that is how my whole system is going right now. That is 
the new changes that I am putting into place to hopefully track everything better. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if there's anything that you would do differently, anything that you would change, whatever. I am open to ideas. I am totally new at this whole organizational thing, if I'm being honest, and I would love to know your thoughts on it. Finley is coughing. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you Friday for another video. Um, and until then, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. See you soon, guys. Bye.